Hi everyone, it's Tara. So I am back to share with you some projects that I created for Halloween. I altered some clothespins and some paper clips and I made some treat bags. So I just wanted to share them with you before I um, give them away. So let's get started. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with these wooden uh, spiders and wooden pieces from Michaels. So here's some um, paper clips that I altered. And I just added some bling pieces to the spider's eyes and then on the back to cover up uh, the glue and everything I just added a uh, this is a foam sticker from where is it from Joann's so I just added that to the back to cover up my work so those came out really cute and then I made these two and I put them you know in these little tags because I was going to gift them um, but I ran out of time so <laughs> yeah so that's those two and then here's one of the uh, clothespins that I made that didn't make it didn't make it onto a treat bag so there you go and that's the back uh, the clothes these larger clothespins I got from Walmart they were just you know the regular wood color and I painted them black so that they would match so that's the clothes things or the clips and then here's some little treats that I made so here's another one of those spider clips and I just put some pixie sticks in a bag and added a um, this is a paper uh, web that I got from I want to say Tuesday morning so I just put that on there like that I thought that came out cute and the bling I mostly got from Walmart. Here's another one. And then here's another little treat bag that I created and just added some stickers from the Dollar Tree. So that's those. All right, so I made a bunch of treat bags. My daughter actually took most of them to school before I got a chance to film. But these are just some paper sacks from, I want to say, um, Michaels. And this paper collection is from Echo Park. I also picked that up from Tuesday morning. And when I first got it, I thought I was going to love it. And then I didn't really. I mean, it's cute, but it's not as bright as I like my papers to be. Like the doodle bug. I really wanted to make some treat bags using that doodle bug paper. But I figure the kids are going to throw these away. So I didn't want to use my good paper on that. So anyway, I made this one and um, from that collection. And this spider clip I just added some googly eyes so that's one and here's another one my neighbor has twin boys so I'm gonna give um, those two bag these two bags to, to them so here's another bag here I covered the front and the back with that design paper and die cut out um, the journaling cards or yeah like the journaling cards from the collection and then this bat clip here. This is one of the confetti pieces from um, Walmart. It came in that pack with the ghost and the and the pumpkin. So here's I just stuck that onto a clothespin. And then let's see some of the other ones from that collection. I made this one and this the paper was so busy I just added a little sticker down there it just says spooky and again another clothespin I love this purple the purple eyes on this one so I did that and this one here and again this is one of the confetti pieces from Walmart and I just put a little clothespin on the back I wish I would have got two packs of these because these came out really cute and when I went and got them, the whole, it was like stocked up with those, um, with this particular style. And I went back two days later and they were gone. So I really wish I would have got more than one. But so that's that one. And then I made this one from that collection. <clears throat> so, and I loved making these. These, I had so much, and I made a bunch of these, but my daughter took a lot of them to school for her friends. So these are the witch hats and they originally from Michaels the wooden ones and they originally had like a like kind of like an ugly orange 
stripe right here and so I kind of rubbed that off and I painted the whole hat black and then I went over this part with some purple stickles and then once that dried I went over it again with these icicle um, stickles here so <clears throat> it gave it a nice glittery uh, finish and I really like the way that one came out and then I just added another uh, black clothespin on the back so those were really fun to make I was gonna dress it up the hat up more but I figured I don't know they're going to kids so you know if they throw it away <laughs> um, I didn't want to just go all out so anyway <laughs> and then this one here I still have to fill this with candy I don't know what paper collection this is oh, I added a little bat back there um, but I think it's a paper pack that I got from Tuesday morning um, and so I just you know decorated it up here's another clothespin spider clothespin really cute and then so that's it for those and then I made some more I used the uh, die cuts with a view Halloween night collection that I picked up from Joann's last year and I love this collection because it's so bright and I just love bright colors as you guys may know so this was perfect I was trying to conserve some of this paper which is why I pulled out that other pad but here's this treat bag and I just stamped my sentiment here added a little sticker from Dollar Tree and here's another clip and I got these gold um, gems from Walmart and I used the larger size on this one just added that spider web there and so that's that one that's the back Okay, I have this one here. This one came out really, really cute. I love the skulls, the wooden skulls. Again, these came from Michaels. And I knew I wanted to put a clothespin on the back. So what I did was I punched out some glitter paper and with a scallop punch. I don't know if you can see it, but I punched out the glitter paper so obviously so the clothespin couldn't be seen. And I really like the way that that came out. I made a bow here with my, I think that's a Martha Stewart punch. But, yeah, and then added the bling piece in the center. So that's that one. That's the back. Okay. I have this one here. Again, using that same paper collection. Really, really cute. Added a sticker and then another little wet, uh, witch <laughs> clip. <laughs> or witch hat clip I should say that's what I wanted to say <laughs> so that's that one and then here again another one same thing stamped my sentiment and added a um, little felt sticker down there so this one I use uh, orange stickles to stickle that one up so that's those and then the last one this is probably my favorite one is this one here a little witch die cut and stamp the sentiment really cute made the witch hat and then I found these actually this morning um, at Party City and they're just like these little spiders I'll probably uh, glitter well it's kind of late now but <laughs> I would have glittered this up but I just stuck it on here just to see how it fits but it's really cute because it's just kind of clips right onto you know bag or something like that so yep did that one and that was it for those bags and then I made some like larger ones for my daughters so I picked up these bags from Target and I just threw like a bunch of stickers on here and then here's one of the uh, skulls that I made so this one obviously you know they come in white so I painted it black and then once that dried I went over it with some black uh, stickles here uh, black diamond stickles and made the little bow again you know use that paper piece to go behind it I thought that came out really cute so oh and these bags have handles on them but I removed the handles because I wanted to add the the clip Okay, so that's that one. 
uh, one of my daughters and here's the other one I love the holographic on this and then here's the clip that I made for her okay here's a few other clips that didn't make it on bags and here's this one here this is one of the pumpkins from that um, confetti collection or a confetti pack and I just added the clothespin on there all right and next I was having a lot of fun making these little witch legs so it comes from this die right here and this die was gifted to me so I made some witch legs Let me zoom in a little bit here so I did this one and this one here and then these I turned into uh, clothespins or clips and this one here and this one here <laughs> so I made a bunch of clothespins and except for these two I think I'm going to turn these into paper clips because I didn't do anything on the back Okay, so as I was playing with this die, I figured I would go ahead and make some elf legs. So I think these came out so super cute. So you don't have to use that, if you have that die, you don't have to use it just for Halloween, but you can make little elf legs. So how cute, right? And then this one I added some little jingle bells. And this one here. Cute. You guys are going to see these again because I'm going to turn these into clips. So that's my share for today. My phone's about to die. So thank you guys so much for watching. Um, let me know what you think and leave me a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. Bye.